Do you remember Omegle? I had some good conversations on there, including but not limited to the creation of my own superhero and villain franchise. So when Omegle died ten months ago, I did. I missed it dearly. The other day, I asked innocently if there were any replicas that had sprung up in Omegle's absence. The unique people who lurked on Omegle had to be chatting somewhere, I reasoned, and amongst all the helpful replies... I'd like you to review that right now. Can you tell me who wrote that phrase? Uh, I could have written that. I think you did. I was pointed towards a site called Emerald Chat. Now, whilst on Omegle, you just went under the name Stranger. You were given a screen name on Emerald, the default being two random words chucked together, but you can customise it. I went for Why Not Bubba, a character from an old video of mine, and an EMERGENCY FROG SITUATION PROFILE PICTURE! That one difference aside, I swiftly found the video chat was very similar to Omegle indeed, as was the text variant as I was endlessly asked, MOF, MOF, FOM, are you a female? Males? M-O-F. M or D? What's D? Uh, shut up. To know comprehensively whether this site could be my new Omegle, I thought I'd test it with a game. So I asked, You wanna play two truths, one lie? Give me two true things about yourself and one lie, and I'll guess which is which. Are you, are you a M or F? I'll tell you if you play two truths, one lie with me. Okay, my favourite colour is burgundy, I love horror movies, and I love playing The Last of Us on PS4. Uh, horror. Hmm, well I think The Last of Us is true, everyone likes that game. That one is correct. You're either scared by horror, Holly, so that's a lie, or that burgundy is a wicked little curveball. Uh, I will guess your fave colour is not burgundy, because who has that as their fave colour unless they're head of the French Mafia or something? Nope, it's not. Nice guessing. So could you tell me if you're M or F? Yeah, I'm M. Stranger disconnected. And we're off. Let's say first to score, I don't know, 13. I have three tattoos. I have never left the country. I have never been driving during a car accident. Okay. My attention instantly drawn to the particular way you phrased the third one, so I think that's true. I think you've been in a car accident, but some other pleb was driving. Um, yeah, that tattoo claim is sitting in me like a Domino's pizza. I, I don't like it. I don't think you have three tattoos at all, you liar! That's correct. I don't have three permanent tattoos, only temporary. Soon, though. And what, please enlighten me, are your three temporary tattoos of? I have the Eye of Horus on my left hand, a generic Holy Knight on my right forearm, and I had a blade on my left thigh, but that one already faded. Love a generic Holy Knight! You know what would be a good tattoo to get? What? You should get one of these. A Scalabelle Jeep! Give it some thought. Putting me on the spot, but here goes. I'm deathly afraid of spiders, I'm half Indian, and I'm allergic to mosquito bites. As a keen investigator, I can't help but notice the AU in your name. And whilst I know Australia has a proud and rich culture, if there's two things I associate with it, it's mozzies and huge spiders. So I'll shoot that your second claim is the lie. You are absolutely correct. Smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat emoji, I hate spiders and I get crazy swelling from mozzie bites, I am basically the worst Australian. Being half Indian, just the first thing that came to mind, was it? Yeah, I typed half and couldn't think of a nationality quick enough. Indian was the first thing that popped to my mind. <laughs> Charlie XCX is a half Indian. Now that I did not know, thanks for the fact. Anyway, I better be- Oh fuck, oh shit, there's a massive spider behind you! M28 from France, analog smiley face emoji, submits I went skydiving in Dubai, I did a threesome, I didn't eat a vegetable in 10 years. That's actually quite tricky, you're from France, yes? Yes, I think you've had a threesome. Why would you mention the vegetable thing? That's what's bugging me, an odd thing to fabricate. Gah, I'm not happy with this answer, but I'll say skydiving's a lie. Okay, <sighs> you're right, loudly crying face emoji, damn you're good. <laughs> Oh, the bloody best, mate. Oh, you didn't eat a vegetable in 10 years. Le Mero, yeah. And that's impressive in the same way jackass is. Any adverse effects? Not really, to be honest. Yeah, all a con, isn't it? Created by Big Veg Corp to shift more sprouts. Loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji, loudly crying face emoji. I knew it was too specific. 21 male, also with skydiving claim, from 20,000 feet. Also, I have five dogs, and I am only child. Ooh, lol, yeah, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> Skydiving one sounds legit. For you to have that figure on hand, I think you do skydive. And further, I think you are an only child, but I think these five hounds of yours are 20 paws of lies, my friend. Damn! Yes, I am on fire! Nice deductions. The name's Sherlock Holmes, and the address is 221B Baker Street. Afternoon. 
I have slept with uh, several women. I buy candy from Gumball machines. I go to Starbucks on the weekends. Oh, bless you. Lol, did you figure out which is the lie? I think so, yeah. Well, well, I think it's the first one. Nope. What? Lol, I've slept around at least ten times. What's the lie? Did you bamboozle me with this Gumball business? It was the Starbucks. I don't do Starbucks on weekends. You go around sleeping with women and buying candy from Gumball machines. From time to time, yes. Do you live in a music video or something? What's this behaviour? Lol, yes. Music vid behaviour, deaf. I like to go party dancing. <laughs> even festivals. Gumballs and party dancing. It could be the name of your autobiography. Mm-hmm. You slipped me up there. I got cocky. A humbling reminder of the lunatics I'm talking with. Why don't you go to Starbucks on weekends? Because nobody to go with. Feels weird sitting at a table with coffee and reading a book alone. <laughs> Not at all. You, you look enigmatic. Certainly more fucking enigmatic than dancing with a mouthful of gumballs. I live in France, I'm 4 foot 11 in height, and a rat climbed on me while I was sleeping. A curious case indeed. They get less believable as you progress. I made it hard. Well, I do believe you live in France. Now, would rats climb on you as you sleep in France? I mean, I've, I've seen Ratatouille. Nope, I live in NYC. Oh, what? <laughs> what just happened? I told you. You just hustled me. What happened with the rat? I had my blanket way too low off the bed. It climbed up. My sister screamed at me to wake up. Well, good game. Or should I say bonjour? No, wait, fuck. You're not French. I have two dogs. I have never been on a cruise and I love chocolate. Interesting. Well, everyone loves chocolate. There's a quiet melancholy to that second choice. So I think that's true too. Your dog claim is a lie. Close, but not quite. I have been on a cruise. You tricked me, you evil bastard. <laughs> I had to talk to them for ages before they agreed to play, but finally from Saturn Porg, I like to talk for hours. I'm afraid of ghosts. I like math. Interesting. A real conundrum. But from the ten minutes it took to convince you to play this, I affirm you do like to talk for hours. I think your passions lie with words over numbers, and so I do not think you like maths. Last one's a lie. Nah, the middle one. Shit, I was gonna say that. I'm 24 years old. I've helped fix Alan Walker's website. I know how to fly a plane. Okay, who's Alan Walker? How old are you? Oh, he's one of those, is he? Well, you know, that first claim is so banal, I think you've hidden a lie in it. I don't think you're 24 at all. No, Lum, I don't know how to fly a plane. Of course you don't. Why did I think you did? I'm falling apart. How old are you, though? I'm 34. Who the hell's Alan Walker? Oh, makes sense. You wouldn't know. You needn't know. I mustn't know. Goodbye. Okay, are you gay? Uh, what? I thought it was asking questions. No, 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 my friend. You give me three facts about yourself. Two of them are true, but one, yet you've made up. Oh, okay, bet. Uh, I'm a straight male. I'm a college grad. I've chucked off to Elastic Girl. Oh, my God. Y you already know. Well, if number three's true, it suggests number one is two. Yes, sir. And the fact that number three was just there at your fingertips, ready to go. You know me so well bro. You, uh, you haven't graduated college, have you, my man? Yeah, it was a no-brainer. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go now. I have turtle. I'm a hacker. I have been into one relationship will now. Two, I mean, till now, eh? I have been into two relationship till now. A, a gotcha. Yeah, so which one? You know, you fumbled over that so badly. I think that one might be the lie. It's just a bad typo. You were nervous because you were lying. I see you. I think you're a turtle owning hacker that's not had a relationship at all. Third one's a lie. That's my final answer. First one, analog smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes emoji D. <laughs> you doesn't see the obvious. I doesn't see it at all. Thinking about it, in all those Hollywood hacker scenes typing furiously away as the camera swings around them, there's no turtle. There's never a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Well played. I was just offered a guy's GF to F. I am six feet two. I was jailed for a month last year. Oh, wow. Lots of lots of moving parts to this one. Yep. But you know. Flash cut to Benoit Blanc hitting a piano key. Okay, Craig, hit it. You being six feet two just doesn't sit right with me. Lie. Uh, okay, you good. What were you jailed for? Attempted fraud? Something I didn't do. Like tricking me, lol. Get wrecked. I once accidentally impaled myself with a pencil. I've been hiking on a dormant volcano. And I've almost choked and died eating a cinnamon roll. Ooh, 
Ooh, right, volcano one, I believe. Does a pencil have the structural integrity to impale? I'm saying pencil is the lie. Damn, you got it. Yes, yes, yes! I thought for sure you'd think the volcano was a lie. Talk me briefly through the cinnamon roll debacle. Yes, I was out with my friends and we all this place selling giant cinnamon rolls. So we bought like a pack of six and there were like ten of my friends. So they started going to town on the cinnamon rolls. But I wanted to make sure I got in as much as possible. So I shoved the whole half of one in my mouth. Couldn't even chew. But because I had no room in my mouth, it slid down my throat and it got stuck. I tried to swallow, but it, w it wouldn't go down. So a volcano that can decimate cities. No problem. Half a cinnamon roll. Almost died, skull emoji. Lamao! What did you learn from the whole cinnamon roll experience? Well, not to shove almost a whole ass cinnamon roll in your mouth. Very good. Yeah, a, a valuable lesson indeed. I'm in a sports, my hair are brown, and my height is 5'9". Eh, nothing too far-fetched for me to dissect here, like asking which of three Weetabix are the driest. I'll guess your hair aren't brown? Nope. What was the lie you fooled me with? My height. How, t how tall are you? 6'1". I don't think you've earned a well done, just a done. Um, I love to dance. I'm really happy. I'll be dead soon. Jesus, keep it light, mate. Well, I'm hoping the last one's a lie. The first one, lol. So you're really happy and will be dead soon? Yeah. Why, why will you be dead soon? Because I'll be sleeping, analog smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes emoji. And when you sleep, you're kind of dead. Yeah, except you're still breathing and thinking and alive. Do you when you sleep cause not key me except for sleeping? I'm gonna go, hi, ain't scoring a point for that, cause it's not a real truth. And you know, this wasn't the only dud chat I had. Also this, am an engineer or am a teacher? Wick, one of them is a lie. No, no, I need a two truths and one lie, please, for a total of three options. Okay. Keep Holy shit, I can't think truth about myself, lol, sorry. And this. I was never there, I will be never there, but I'm always here. What am I? You're misunderstanding the brief, I think, but I'll try it anyway. Um. Oh, uh, the present? Wow, D good. Cheers. Yeah, what I want, though, is uh, two truths and one lie from you. Okay, enough talking. I want to fuck someone. Even when I got back on track, it wasn't easy. I'd prefer to say all truth. That's not much of a game, yeah? That's a confession. Give me two truths and one that's close to being a truth. One, I don't have friends at the same age. Two, I shaved my hair. Three, I'm talented and good at my job. Right, you sound like Heisenberg. I'll guess number two's a lie is the most outlandish. Three is a lie. That's certainly a shame to her. What's your job? I cook. You are Heisenberg. Well, I'm gonna go and hey, remember, you are the one who knocks. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm on holiday right now, I have four horses, and my dog is called Aggie. Mm. First things first, Aggie is a lovely name for a dog. I can picture myself yelling Aggie in a misty park. So I think that one's true. Okay. Now, would you be on this stupid site if you were on holiday? <laughs> Dunno. I do. X. Doubt. You're not on holiday at all. That's incorrect. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like I made a mistake. The horses, the horses? I could never afford four horses. I'm not that rich. Of course. It's also obvious now. I've been utterly outplayed. Ha <laughs> ha. Hang on, so where are you on holiday? Well, go do holiday stuff, you mad bastard. What? Okay, a football player from a Russian national team wanted to play football with me. I'm not allowed to go to Austria. Or the police came because I collapsed because of alcohol. An exquisite selection. Well, let's remove the third option straight away, I think. That has to be true. Loads of people call a peas from too much booze. Yeah, the tread is true. The second Austrian option is fascinating. I so want option two to be true. Why would a Russian footballer want to play with you? So what's your call? One or two true. They actively wanted to play football with you. Why? I think number two's true. Nope, number one is true. I'm kuskajash fudjakafukuskjabak. His wife's an old friend from my family. They often visited. The Austrian option was a work of pure class. Was that just utter bullshit? Bullshit. You made it up. A total fabrication. Not this time. Your English is too good. So is your conjuring bollocks, my friend. 
My family used to be the personal guard to the Scottish Crown. I've rebuilt a PS4 and I make mead. There's a lot to unpack here. I believe the first one, because if you could conjure that from thin air, you wouldn't be on this website. You'd be a famous novelist. And I don't think there's a big overlap between PS4 rebuilders and mead brewers. I... I don't think you've made a drop of mead in your life, boy. Nah, it's my brother's job, lol. Oh, I fix electronics. He makes the mead. Oh, I won't lie. I was getting anxious waiting for your response there. But the relief has just washed over me in an awesome wave. You both have cool jobs, but that's a particularly cool job your brother has. Yeah, he got bored and figured it out one day and took off from there. You want to quickly explore your fam protecting Scottish royalty? Oh, apparently not. I have a big D. I'm an artist and I have a lot of money. Did that send? Yes, it did. I'm just deducing. Sounds like something a footballer would tweet. You don't strike me as having the patience of an artist. I think number two is fallacious. Well, you're wrong. Which is the lie? Money, lol. Well, enjoy the point, Neptune Dathomaran. I hope it makes you very happy. Male or female? Ah, oh, I'll tell you once you've played this game with me. Okay, I'm a male, age 23, and drunk. Oh, the fact that age is capitalised. God, that's such a genius move. I can tell you're good at chess. What does it mean? I don't think you're drunk. Last one's a lie. Correct. Fucking yes, mate. So now... Are you male or female? The big reveal. What do you think? I think you are female. Bad news. I'm a sweating 34-year-old man with a beer belly. Okay. Really bad news. Really bad news, yeah. I'm six feet tall. I'm Indian. I'm 20. Shorter than six foot? Shit. I'm up. Never broken a bone. Watching the Olympics in person. Good at manual driving. I'll be honest, initially I was struggling with these three, but then my mental process went like, I'll tell you what, let me act it out for you. Gee, I can't decide between those. It's Dodger and full Matt Rose, don't even know who Alan Walker is. Maybe I'm just getting too old for this, you know? Oh, they're just, uh, there's just one more thing. You know, uh, either half an eye behind the camera, we're thinking of getting a new car. Now she, she doesn't like the gears. Gives her anxiety, you see, so she'd go into a car dealership, she'll ask for one of those automatics. Me, I'm an old stick in the mud, you know, I, I don't mind the gears at all, they come naturally to me, so if I went in, I'd ask for anything. So it's, uh, it's kind of curious, gets me to thinking now. Uh, would somebody who's naturally good at driving a manual car specify a manual car? Who calls it manual driving? Someone who drives an automatic? That's who. Third one's a lie. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't call myself good at it, as I discovered last weekend. At least you didn't crash and break any bones. I have never been outside my home country. I don't know how to swim. I once pooped on the edge of a cliff. Obviously my magnifying glass hovering over number three instantly. Can I confirm you pooped on, not off the cliff? The confirmation is pooped off the side of the cliff. Downwards, that's the scenario. Well, all poops are downwards. Most, anyway, I should hope. So what's the lie? See, this story's changing already. I think you do know how to swim. I don't think you'd poop off the edge of a cliff without some Basic water safety knowledge. Number two, lie. Incorrect. God damn it! You'd better not tell me you haven't pooped anywhere near a cliff whatsoever. Now, the lie was that I have been outside my home country. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better. I don't know how to swim, and I went to my home country, I got food poisoning, we stopped the car, and I pooped off the cliff. I gotta ask, how was it? You must have felt king of the world, no? No, I felt like the idiot who got the shits from an egg. My whole family was near. I had to get them to pass me tissue. Oh, right. You know, they say some cases stick with you your whole career. We'll never meet again, but I'll forever remember the case of the idiot who got the shits from an egg. <laughs> Scores neck and neck. Let's hope this is a good convo. Are you a lactating female? That's certainly an opening gambit. Play this game with me first and I'll tell you. I can walk over a mile, I can bench 200 pounds, I've never been to a Waffle House. Sorry, to confirm, your first truth stroke lie is, I can walk over a mile. Yes? Okay, in any time frame, or just generally? Generally? I mean, ladybirds can walk over a mile. That first one's true. So if your third one's a lie, you have been to a Waffle House and can bench press that weight. If second is a lie, you can't and haven't. Hey. No, the second one's the lie. 
I? I'm thinking out loud, you cretin, you muppet! Well, too late. You've ruined my afternoon. I can't believe I waited all that time for that. I can walk over a mile. What's that? It's like saying I could put my shoes on in less than three attempts. Okay, well if it's veiled, I assume you won't tell me if you are a lactating female. No, I'm not a lactating female. This is a bad chat. Even by my standards, this is a bad chat I'm having right now. In that case, I'm a go. Please leave. Please let this convo work. I don't know. I can't think of anything really. I I'm quite boring. You've got this. Sometimes what's boring to you is fascinating to someone else. Most times, actually. I've been studying bass for a year and a half and people think I've been playing for five years. I'm studying computer since because I want to be a music technician. Or I have a ruler with a bunch of footballs on it from when I was in high school and I found it on the floor. Uh, so those are a bit boring, but no worries, let's dive in. Lamel, I'm not a boring person, I swear. I just don't have anything interesting to say. It's okay, this is now a true test of my deductive power. Yeah. This is my final test, just three dry, sterile facts. Mm-hmm. Hush now, please allow me to think aloud. Oh, okay, sorry. Your base claim, probably the most outlandish of the three, is that your final answer? No! You will know what my final answer is when I declare it, yeah? I am amusing. Okay. Musical precocity does exist, however, and if you were lying, would you really specify one and a half years? Let's examine number two. A music technician? Well, it would link into claim number one, but then I'd like to think someone studying computer science would spell it correctly. Well, that was just a typo, my bad. Uh, sorry, I'm a mid-muse, mate, so... Now three, by far the most banal, but is that a bluff? I think it is. It all comes down to this, but you know what? I think you made that ruler up. LIE! Well... You're right. YES! 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 It used to be true, but I lost it a couple weeks ago, so I don't have it anymore. I could not be happier you lost your football ruler! Wow, thanks. Funny to think, in this mad world of gumball machines and cinnamon rolls and shitting off cliffs, it all came down to one missing ruler. The little things in life. The craziest mysteries of all. Am I right? Yep. Anywho, bye!